The sky's gray, it's like this every day The town is full of bread, a little turn, a little prey I flip a million out of nothing, make them feel a certain way Hoping that the switch Fisk unit Soldier Fisk unit Soldier What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. The New York football giants. The poverty, pathetic, laughing stock of a team that we are. <laughs> We're favorites. Wait a minute. Hold on. The uh, Danny Pennies, Daniel Jones, the worst quarterback that ever lived. <laughs> Saquon, Mr. Injury Prone. Kadarius Tony, he raps more than he plays. We're, We're favored. <laughs> Wait a minute. Make it make sense. Which is it? Are we poverty? Or is the people who get paid to do this starting to see the light? It didn't take long, did it? It didn't take long, did it, Giants fans? You see, I've been preaching this gospel for years. I've been preaching prosperity on this channel for a long time. And it feels good to see the odds makers thinking like me. Now, I've been giving you these gems all off season long. What if this Vegas tell you Vegas likes the Giants or over under was a seven. It was a seven and a half most of the summer. Now, peep game. Not only was our over under around seven and a half wins, but Brian Dable was second. To Dan Campbell and Coach of the Year candidates. In order to, for a coach to win Coach of the Year, he kind of damn near has to make the playoffs. If not make the playoffs. So if, 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 if our head coach had the second best odds to win Coach of the Year. And we weren't and we and we didn't have like a four or five over under win total. What does that tell y'all? Because y'all don't like listening to me. You, you know, I'm, I'm a homer. Or I'm delusional because I believe in the players who wear our fucking jerseys. Unlike the rest of you motherfuckers out here who find ways to be negative and find ways to not believe. I choose to believe. I choose to preach prosperity. But if you don't want to take it from me, take it from Vegas. They've been dropping hints on you all offseason. See, there's a lot of y'all who are novice at sports betting. There's a lot of y'all who don't know what you're doing. You don't know how to read the lines. You don't know how to read the market. You aren't experienced in betting. I'm trying to give you the game. We are two weeks into the season, and we're already favored against a team that allegedly has a better quarterback than us, against a team that allegedly has better weapons than us, CMC, DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson. Go on defense, Jeremy Chin, Brian Burns. Allegedly, they have a better roster than us. Why are the Giants favored? Make it make sense. They're favored because we're better. And Vegas knows we're better. Do I need? What other evidence do you need? What other evidence do you need? I mean, like, let's call a spade a spade here. Weren't the Browns favorite? I'm sorry, wasn't the Panthers favorite over the Browns? Didn't the Panthers close as the favorite over the Browns? And now that same Panther team that was good enough to beat a stat Cleveland team. I repeat, the Vegas line said that that Panther team was good enough to beat a stat team in Cleveland who is allegedly light years better than the Giants. Because y'all got to remember, outside of the New York football Giants bubble, outside of this bubble the Giants fans live in, they think we're garbage, right? So if the Panthers were good enough to be favored against the Browns, why are they dogs versus us? Like I said, I can only lead you to the water. I can't make you drink it. You understand me? That's on you. 
the Giants are going to win this game convincingly. It's, this will be a convincing win. We just beat the number one seed in the AFC. We beat them. In the second half of that game, we look like the better team. We look like the better team. That's just bottom line. We barely lost that game. We we It took a two-point conversion to win, but we missed the PAT, and Daniel Jones turned the ball over inside field goal range twice. So we technically could have won that game by a hell of a lot more than what we did. Nobody talks about that. Nobody talks about the fact that Daniel Jones turned the ball over with a fumble in field goal range. Nobody talks about Daniel Jones turned the ball over in the red zone. That's those are points. We missed the PAT. Those are fucking three scoring plays. We won by a point. So we technically probably should have beat Tennessee by a touchdown. The Giants are good. Okay, the Panthers can't block us. Allegedly, Kayvon Thibodeau. Kayvon Thibodeau is supposed to be playing. Okay, so we're gonna get Kayvon back. So we got we're gonna have at least one dog out there to rush the passer. CMC is gonna probably go off in the passing game. We, we, he's not running on us. All right, the, the Giants run D as hell. Leonard Williams, Dexter Lawrence, Tay Crowder, Xavier McKinney. We got the run covered on all levels, uh, and they don't have the line to block for McCaffrey that Tennessee had. So, not worry about the running the ball on us. Where the where 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 they can get us is going to be with DJ Moore in the slot. God help Darnay Holmes and Tay Crowder. And whoever the fuck else trying to guard McCaffrey out the backfield. That's where our mismatches are for our defense, but that's not enough to beat us. That's just not enough because Baker's not that Baker's not that guy. All we gotta do is rush Baker to his left, and it's a wrap because he always rushes to he always rolls to the right side of the field. So we rush no, he always rolls to the left side of the field. So if we rush him to the right side of the field, he's gonna fuck up. All right, so at the end of the day, we got that covered. And offensively, they can't guard us. Tony will be a part of the game plan. I think week one was just Brian Dable letting Tony know that he runs the show. You know, he set the parameters. He set the rules. I think I think they understand each other now. I believe Tony will be a bigger part of the game. They can't guard Saquon Barkley. They can't do it. They like they can't stop him. They couldn't stop Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. They couldn't stop him. Saquon's probably going to get a buck 20 on the ground. Saquon going to have a good game. And I also think that Daniel Jones and Tony are going to have a good game too. I think Daniel Jones and Tony <clears throat> are going to have a great game. What you have to understand about this Giants team is like everybody talks about Saquon, right? Saquon's our best player, whatever, whatever. What they don't understand is when our quarterback gets hot, he gets hot. Daniel Jones gets hot. Daniel Jones' ceiling is as high as any quarterbacks in the league. When Daniel Jones has a great game, he really has a great game. He hasn't had his good game yet. And that boy, Kadarius Tony, if you think Saquon is electric, Tony is Saquon at the wide receiver position. Like this Giants offense has firepower to the highest order on it. And horning them dudes out there in Carolina, well, let me say, down here in Carolina, I'm, I'm not too far away from the fucking, from, um, from the stadium. That, like, I should go to that. No, no, my, the game is in New York. I'm, oh, yeah, the game is in New York. I'm bugging. This is our home opener. Why the hell did I? I'm an idiot. Okay, yeah, I'm an idiot. Oh, well, that's even good. I get to sit at the house and watch TV because I was conflicted. There was a piece of me that was like, damn, I should should go to the stadium. Okay, yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm a brilliant idiot. Anyway, all right, I won't take these videos. I ain't editing the shit. All right, so whatever. The point is, they can't fuck with us. Bottom line. All right, they can't fuck with us. Listen to Wink Martindale. Listen to Brian Dable. Wink Martindale, Brian Dable have been hyping up this Giants home opener all week long. Every press conference, they say, we expect you to make noise. We expect you to tear the roof off this place. Wink Martindale came out today and said part of establishing culture is the fans. He says part of establishing the culture is the fans creating a, a, a ruckus environment for the opponent. Daniel Jones, he came out and said he expects y'all to be loud. People of New York, New Yorkers, go to that game. I want Nick's energy at the at, at the fucking MetLife. 
I I want I want that Knicks energy at the Met. Like ain't nothing grimier than Nick fans when they think their team is good. I want that energy at MetLife. Is it because it's in Jersey? Because I know the Yankee games be violent too. Yankee games and uh Knicks games, them crowds be them crowds be belligerent. Is it because it's in Jersey? Is it because the Giants play in Jersey that they don't got that New York uh, that New York disrespect at their stadiums? I think it's that. It's, it's somebody in New York. Y'all let Big Fist know because I'm I'm trying to understand why the Giants crowd in MetLife never be turned up like Knicks and Yankee games. Y'all, y'all got to explain that shit to me. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Giants by a touchdown. We up. I say Giants will win. I say 24-17. I got Giants 24-17. Daniel Jones throws another two touchdowns. I think Saquon gets in on a rushing touchdown. Graham Gano field goal. And we're going to be up out of there. All right. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.